Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest Builders. So I did a little bit of work around town, just a little. Um, I cleared up all the weird blocks everywhere, had all like the white crap everywhere. I also built up a wall around the outside of town because, you know, you gotta worry about monsters and you don't want them just running right on into town. Um, I built it three blocks high because that just it's just kind of a little bit of safety to make sure that, like, nothing can get over that wall. Got a door on either side. Monsters don't know how to open doors. So you may be wondering why I went to the trouble of making this entire town out of dirt. And that's mostly because dirt is cheap. Dirt's real. it's really easy to get a large quantity of dirt. In fact, I got all the dirt that I used for this from excavating my little prison way up there, which didn't even feel like a lot. And not only is dirt cheap, but I don't actually have to tear all this dirt down when I want something better in its place. And that's because we've seen these before. There is cladding. Now the and flooring in turn, cladding and flooring. These are nice, 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 nice things. Um, that'll let us effectively replace this dirt with something better. But I'll get to that soon, because now we're geared up. Man, I got a hammer, I got a sword, I got a hammer. And LaRoche over here wants us to go hunt down this other resident. Oh, let's see here. Also put um, this in a room, just because it gives us points. Otherwise, I don't think I changed too much. Changed some minor room layouts. Like, this one's easier to get around, easier to get to the chest. Uh, this room over here, I think, is technically big enough now that it doesn't even count as a room anymore. So, yeah, that's cool. I know I said I was going to be reserving this space for something, but given that it's too big to even be a room, of course I'm going to be reducing the size of this, but I'll worry about that when we get to it. In the meantime, we gotta go find that person. We have some adventures to go on. Beyond the blue teleportal. Because while we were out here, I talked to these duders, and they're the ones who told me to go to the place. There's this big pit here that we kind of ignored. Off screen, I came back and I got a ton of copper and coal and everything here, so... We should be set on copper and coal for a while. But what I did not do is deal with these two skeletons that are just kind of running around being idiots. There we go. There's a guy over here. You can see his uh, word balloon. I am. I don't know, I'm still kind of questionable about Clabarina. I mean, she helped me out, but I don't know if I'd say she loved humans. Meh. How can you just put that block there? These blocks are... I don't actually know. I know there's the one, like, weird black block that you can absolutely cannot destroy. I don't remember if you maybe can destroy these if you get enough, like a strong enough mallet. Ooh, give me that. Gotta see the light. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Oh, I also killed these guys. And got some orange oil, which gave me a recipe for a set of Wayfarer's clothes which is not as good as leather armor. Oh, it's getting dark. Um, thankfully, even though it's getting dark, there's this right up here that I'm gonna book towards. And tick off that skeleton along the way. There we go. Crap, can't remember how to zoom the cam camera in. Going to sleep anyway. 
Hit all the buttons except the zoom the camera in button. There we go. Okay, so I knew this was over here, but um, there's a little crafting table in here just in case you need to make anything. There's also some bones that are just kind of in the way. But otherwise, it's a room. It's almost a room. It's... I mean, it had that little hole in the front, but it's even got a bed in here. So this is a nice little... home away from home, so to say. About to destroy the top off of those. This is why you don't put roofs on houses. Weird as it is to not have houses on rooms. It's mostly done, so it's just... So it's easier to get your crap together so you can see what's going on? Where's crap you going, dude? Like, it's mostly done so you can actually see inside the rooms because the camera does not work well in such confined spaces. And also because putting a roof on every room in order to make it count as a room gets expensive. Block-wise, like, not that there's currency in the game. Uh, let's see here. So that was where Clobberina was. So there's this over here, which is probably what LaRouche was talking about. Got that little thing way off there in the distance. I'll check that out in a minute. Because it's a little bit closer. There's, um... More little... Thingamadooters. And that looks like a front... There's not really a front to this thing. This looks like it could be the front. Ah! And a blueprint to the greasy mallet. I don't know what this button does. You're making the noise, right? It, it, but it's not doing anything. Um, yeah, the greasy mallet! Let's take a look at it. I don't know, it doesn't actually... Earth, pot, step, door. Just a regular cook fire. Otherwise, it's just kind of fancy. I mean, it's okay, I guess, but it doesn't really help me. But I don't know, it's, it's neat if you want to make something. A big old hole down there. What's going on down in this hole? What are you doing, guy? I am. Oh, yeah, I can see two of them. They're just a pile of rocks. Alright, so when we get to that desert... When we get to that desert... We gotta look for a guy who knows how to make... Look, I'm not trying to destroy everything, I just kind of... It'd be nice if I could get rid of all this grass in the middle too, but I'm gonna like destroy all the graves in the process. At least I got rid of the sticks. At least we got that. Man, we could make this a nice little graveyard. Uh, I kind of want to get out without having to, like, put blocks down, but I may have to. Oh, fine, I'll put a block down. Oh, fine, I'll put another block down. Alright, um, so something else to be aware of is looking down here. I mean, not here, because it's over open ocean. They're usually not that mean. But I think over here, there are a couple caves in the wall. 
and like, man, investigating caves would be pretty cool. I don't think there's anything of value in them, though. I think one of them has some coal in it or something, but that's about it. I can go back out and get some more coal later on if we need to, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. Um, in the meantime, though, there's still... Come on, get up. Hey, how are you guys doing? It's like some kind of indoors camera. Yeah, they pick on me, too. I broke the vines. Is that before or after I talked to her? Because maybe she was just being, being kind of gruff to me, like she had to put up a face. But she was still like, you know, humans are all right. I don't know a human. I gotta act tough. Man, ladders. Kind of, yeah. Probably wanted to watch us die off slowly. Wanted to see us suffer. Can't get out. Can't get out. Got friggin' slimes and skeletons after me and I can't get out. I don't know where that slime is. Was it you? Okay, so if we go any further, that takes us to a neat little clearing we can see over there. And... But we'll get to that in a minute. There's still a whole bunch of island to explore. The second island is actually pretty big. Decent amount more for us, but we'll get to that in a second. First, we gotta go back here and talk to our good friend. I may, may rest for an evening first. It's on the way. Uh, talk to our good friend, who we don't actually know is our friend yet. So we got some butter beans. So there is some degree of farming in this game. I don't remember if we can do any of it in this chapter. But I don't know, we'll get to that when we get to it. You're just gonna be a jerk. Okay, taking a rest. And we'll go talk to the guy. I'm up. And now I'm out again. Hey, okay, so if this is an indoor camera, what happens if I go back in? Okay, so it's... Once it zooms back out, it, like, kind of turns off the indoor camera automatically. That's actually real nice. So we don't have to mess with, like, the camera distance or anything, like... That's, that is actually real nice. I am getting low on food, considering I have a meager 10 shroom on a sticks left. So I should be keeping my eye out for, for mushrooms. Bunch of them down here, though. If I don't hit a tree. Oh yeah, look at all that. Mm-mm. So there's, there's a different type of mushroom. Oh, I don't think I've broken these yet. Ah, uh, there's a different type of mushroom that I don't think we get access to in this chapter. But I'm gonna keep my eye out for it anyway, because if we do, we can do fun things.
Okay, you must be the guy LaRouche said. I'm a tofu. I go where I want. Ah, uh, monster. Okay, I kind of just ate that. They weren't synced well for me to dodge out of the way. I sure did with this copper sword. Want one? Oh yeah, better than that stick. See, I like that he chalks it up to experience, too. Like, he's, he's not chalking it up to luck. Like, oh, there's no way you could have done it. It's like, no, nah, man, maybe you maybe you could do it because you actually had some idea of what you were doing. But we're still in a tight spot. Hey, no, no, I'm not leaving. Not without you, anyway. Well, lucky for you, I just so happen to have one of those. And away we go! Hey, there's something over there. Hey, I found a guy! Sure is. Everybody's coming in to say hi. That's really saying something. Like, even existed. Like, they're just... There's no towns this big anywhere. And it's like... It's this. It's some dirt. There's a couple beds over there. Which says something for the state of the world. I sure did. You shut your mouth. Everybody's welcome here as long as they don't cause trouble. Like you are. Look, idiot, we're not looking for a fight. The monsters are coming after us, though. And your options right now are either defend ourselves or let them kill us? Hey, maybe we should get some method of defending ourselves against all these monster attacks. Nah. It's a bad idea. They'll just... Kill us. We should Instead, we should let them kill us. Good plan. Good plan, friend. I will do what I want. See now, I don't I don't like LaRoche, but at the same time, he seems mostly to be paranoid. He really just seems to be scared. Oh, oh, oh my. So we've got, we've got some events happening, hey. Ew. Not really, I'm pretty sure you're all just using sticks. I mean, I could make you copper swords. Alright, let's do this. Stab him in the face! Okay, they always come from here, so let's go here. Hey, brownies. Now, these guys can destroy blocks. And will destroy your stupid town! I'm just getting their attention so they don't destroy my wall. We need stronger walls. Hey, 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 hey. 
This one. Okay, you guys tank. I'll be the DPS. We did it! We saved the world! Are oh, you not gonna let me patch the wall? Okay, so yeah, some enemies can destroy blocks. This is something we've seen before. Wait, Pippa wants to talk. This is something we've seen before. So we're gonna need stronger walls. Because dirt is not gonna cut it. Well, let's see what well, let's see what they want. Let's see what they want. What do you want? Man, we got a mouth on us. All right. Oh, hey, you want stuff. I mean, so I'm told. Nah, I just I just make stronger armor. Ooh. You got it. Man, Pippa wants something. What's up, Pippa? Ask me. I will go out with you. Oh, that's not what you're asking. What are you working on? Everybody's sleeping. Want a room just for you? I sure will. Do a special room so everybody else leaves you alone. Hey, you know, I guess we should make a gentleman sign. Now, some of those are actually really nice and let you do nice things, but we have a decent amount of adventuring to go at this point. Actually, I think I can do, uh, I think I can do Pippa good already. I can do- I am pretty sure I can do Pippa good already. Do I have a pot? I do not. She wanted a pot? It's already in there. A mattress. And a lady sign. So, when I got the orange goo, it gave me two recipes. One of which was the Wayfarer's clothes. Um, these are kind of the iconic builder clothes. But we kind of skipped it to get the leather armor because I didn't get the orange oil until later. Um, yeah. But because we have orange oil, we can make these, so that's cool. The other thing that I learned how to make was... Oh, that's right, it's weird. You gotta make it at the cook fire. Is the magic dye. Uh, which is blue goo, orange oil, coal. Now, the magic dye is kind of funny because you'd think it's some fancy thing. It's magic dye. It's not really that fancy. All it is, um, as far as this game is concerned, is if you ever need 
die for something, anything, ever, you make magic die. Which is nice for gameplay purposes, because now we don't have to worry about, like, making the right color or anything stupid. Like, no, you just make friggin' magic die. I mean, that makes it pretty magic. But it's not like you can't cast spells or anything. Okay, lady sign, what else do we need? Wood! Well, that's okay, I can make wood. I got all kinds of wood. Got wood right here. I guess it's a wood sign. Um, lady sign, lady sign. Making a lady sign. Now, the thing with these signs is... It has to be part of the room in order for it to match to that room. But, of course, the... That means you can't put it on the outside here, where it kind of makes sense, because that's not in the room. So you have to put it inside the room. Which is weird... But it gets the point across. Yeah, she's coming! Yeah! We did it! Hmm. I, th I think LaRoche may need some help. Oh man, a super secret project! Okay, that was an easy one to do, so I'm not too worried about it. Gotta put her name. So, you just go up and write, and you get to put a person's... ...name on the bedroom. So now this is officially Pippa's bedroom. And mine. I'm gonna put this right here. Double name. I mean, you didn't even have an evening, but, like, okay. I mean, I'm we've been eating, and I'm sure we've been out here pooping and crap in front of everybody else. Like, we don't exactly have many options. Especially before a friggin' town was made. What did y'all do in the wild? Go in a room, close the door, it's fine. Okay, now that's gonna be a little more fun, but I'll say, until next time, everyone, we got quests from everybody! Got some exploring to do, some armoiring to make, gonna be a good time. Until next time, everyone.